Hello and welcome to Cup of Time. I'm thrilled that you could join me today and I'm also thrilled to say hello and welcome to Libby. So hi there. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice that you could be with me today. Yeah, really happy to be with you today, Fiona. Good, yeah. Lovely. We've both said just before the video started that we've uh, got a little bit of a warm and a humid day and noises outside so we're inside doing this today. So first of all, nature of cup of time. Do you have a favourite cup or cups or mugs? And could you share them with me, please? I do. Yes, I do. I've got three. Good. <laughs> so my first one is this one that a really close friend of mine bought for me. And um, it says the best things in life aren't things, they're friends like you. Mm -hmm. So that <clears throat> is a really lovely mug for me to... Uh, to a go-to mug mm -hmm. and it reminds me of her. Mm -hmm. The second mug I've had for quite some years actually, I've had this since, oh I can't remember how, since 2007 since I've been married right. and I don't necessarily go for style, I go for comfort when and with mugs. I like to, I like to feel the comfort of a mug Mm -hmm. So, you know, like some people try on shoes for comfort. I try mugs on. So if I'm in the shop and I see one, I like to go, oh, yeah, I like, I like that. I should maybe get to design some mugs, I tell you. So, <laughs> so that's just, it's a nice, you know, pale blue mug, but it feels good. It feels yeah. good. And then this one, oh, look at that. Just the way it fits in the palm. And I like the um, the pattern, like a mandala yeah. pattern as well. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it was really important for me to, to hold on to this and it's quite nice and big and just feel, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I keep saying I won't buy any more, but I did buy another one the other day. And um, I think something that people, when they're buying a gift, maybe not consider a gift of a mug, I mean, is that when you hold a big cup or a big mug, it's also the weight of it. So it yeah. might be big, but you could have a finer china one or a lighter china one. And once yeah. you get the volume of drink in there, it's okay. But sometimes one of these really heavy ones, you need two hands under it. So anyway, yeah. I digress. So what is it that you do, Libby, in your life that helps to keep you uplifted? Oh, so I love being out in nature. That's a real must for me. It really helps me to feel uplifted. And I, it's important for me to take time out for myself also so I can just clear my thoughts, clear my head, have some space. So that's really good. So I like to meditate yeah. um, a lot. But, but nature, <clears throat> nature is a must. So this morning I've been working quite a lot. And before this I went outside and I just took my shoes off so I could just have the bare feet on the grass. And it's like, oh, God, that's just amazing. So, um, so yes, I like to do that. And I also use doTERRA essential oils. Yes. So they are really, there's so many different oils that mm. can help me to feel, just give mm. me that instant, oh, I feel nice and uplifted. Mm -hmm. And there's an oil for every mood. Oh, yes. And yes. symptoms. But we'll yeah. not go there for now. But if people want to get in touch with you, we'll put a note of you below yeah. the video maybe so if people want to get in touch with you afterwards um so talking about you is there anything that you've done in the past that people might not be able to guess or imagine that you've done <laughs> there's quite a few actually um <laughs> some of them i don't know whether i should say <laughs> um one of the things that i did so i spent quite a lot of time out in australia and I had, um, I think, about 15 months where I lived lived out in Australia. And I spent a lot of time up in North Queensland in, in Cairns. And we used to get um, some celebrities coming. I never met them. But I was a big fan of Val Kilmer. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the actor. And he came up to Cairns with Marlon Brando to film... I think it was the island of Dr. Moreau. I think that that was the name of the film. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my goodness, Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer. And I mean, I would literally walk up and down the streets because Cairns is quite small, expecting right. to bump into this guy. Um, anyway, it was um, advertised in the paper that they were wanting to audition people to come in and audition as animal people for the film. And I thought, right. that's it. That's my way in. So... 
And in my mind, Libby Steggles Jin's mind, I'm thinking, yeah, you know, they're going to have me opposite him. We're going to be doing a role together and auditioning me. And yeah, I can, and I'll be working with him. And oh, this is just amazing. So I've queued up with um, some friends for quite a long time. And um, the way that they wanted us to audition was to have a photograph taken. And that was it. So I had my photograph taken as for an animal person and uh, never heard from them again. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And how old were you at that stage? Uh, I will have been about 23, uh -huh. 22, 23, mm -hmm. something like that. So, yes. And did you ever see the film that was made? I saw a snippet of it, but I didn't like the look of it, so I didn't carry on. <laughs> but I wanted, to, I wanted to see a snippet of it because I wanted to see the animal people. Right. And, um, and I thought, well, maybe it was a bit of a compliment that I didn't get chosen for an animal person, you know? Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. that was it. So, yeah. Good. Well, you know, you can't put your name to that, but you can put your name to the story. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so I would like to ask you as well, because I'm asking a lot of different people this question is, yeah. do you have anything that you have um, a practice of doing at home that's either a time-saving or a cost-saving tip that you might like to pass on to others? I do, actually. And the tip I would say is to breathe. Mm -hmm. Just to purely breathe, because mm -hmm. it's, our breath is free. And it is the most magical, powerful healing tool that we have. And yet we just forget about it. We forget to utilize the breath. Mm -hmm. So I would say to breathe and whether that is to take some time like I do to breathe or just in that moment where you are so busy, busy to just stop and just literally take a deep breath in and just yeah. let it go <laughs> I think so many people because obviously we were born being able to breathe don't give their breath a second chance or a mm. second thought mm. um certainly where I live there's a lady um called Judith who has a company called Breathworks and when she has run seminars and and little groups together it's been quite amazing that you know you don't breathe necessarily in the best way that's going to benefit you and she re-educates but like you say I think it is taking that time to pause and to fully fully use your body in essence really yeah definitely excellent well I would like to thank you for your time today it's been a thrill to spend the time with you just wondered about the um is it a witch's broom in the background? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was another thing that people don't know about me. I'm a witch. I'm a white right. witch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that stays in the corner? That stays in the corner until it's time to fly. Yeah. Right. And then it goes back again when I've, when I've uh, been out and about. <laughs> okay. Because you see people with similar twigs and with fairy lights on. I wasn't sure whether it was a leftover or whether it was... No, that is, that is a witch's... That's my witch's broom. Excellent. Yeah, I've got I've got fairy lights on it as well, so I can. Uh, if I'm feeling really good, I light it up. <laughs> right. Well, I wasn't expecting that answer, but <laughs> thank you. It's always nice to learn something about people. Well, there you go. It beats and the Val Kilmer on that one, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's it's been lovely chatting to you today. Thank you ever so lovely much again. With you. Thank you. Bye for <laughs> now. See you.